In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel Andres from the Mission of San Andrew Apostle in Tijuana, Baja California, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. The Gospel is for July the 10th, 2019, according to St. Matthew. Then Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits, to cast them out, and to cure every disease and every sickness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First Simon, also known as Stone, Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, the one who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Go nowhere among the Gentiles, and enter no town of the Samaritans. Out go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, proclaim the good news. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. He gave them authority to over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all sickness and illness. Please listen to me carefully. You that are Christians but are Protestant Christians, are Lutherans, are Evangelicals, all that. Do you believe in the, whole, in, in the Holy Scripture? Then attend and obey the Holy Scripture. The Lord called 12 disciples, 12 apostles. If you happen to be in a church that has a direct connection, living connection, all the way through those apostles, then you are good. Although the greatest of all apostolic sees, that is the Roman Catholics, have separated themselves almost a thousand years ago. And from them, you, the Christians, the Protestants, sprung. Because you disliked what was happening in that apostolic see. But make no mistake, because unless you are faithful, and return to God, you will not be saved. Neither will you be saved if you are in the Roman Catholic See, but you are not faithful to God. If you would rather be faithful to your Pope or to your priests that is teaching you differently from the Gospel, you will not be saved. You have to be faithful to God. And especially you, my brothers, who are priests in that Apostolic See. You have the knowledge and you have the calling and the light of God that you should seek for the truth. If you do not seek for the truth, you will be rejected from heaven. Think about it carefully. It is not enough to be a priest or even to be a bishop to save yourself. Just look for it in the Matthew chapter 25. Where does it say, and there will be all the, pro, the popes and the priests and the bishops and the deacons? No, it doesn't mention that at all. What's going to happen to us is that we will be judged even more harder. Why? Because we have been enlightened. We have been charged with work. And the first requirement to prostrate ourselves before the Lord was that questioning of God to Simon the stone. Do you love me more than this? Then tend my sheep. And you and I answered, yes, my Lord. Are you doing it? Are we doing it that way? It is easy to find out if you are in the right church because it says that the Lord gave them authority to drive out demons. And unfortunately, in the Roman Catholic See, you see 99% of them that do not expel demons, that are afraid of demons, and of course, because they are unfaithful and live wrong. There is no struggle. 
when God is going to cast a demon. But if you are afraid, it is only because you do not live or you don't uh, make the effort to live according to God. And think about all those pastors that sometimes get possessed by the demons. Terrible situation for them. To heal. The anointing of the sick is not the last rite, but it is the praying of us that we're supposed to be friends of God, to be holy. By the praise of our Holy Fathers, that is what it means. That when we are anointing someone, we are praying for him that God might release him from his sickness, that God himself might heal them. But if you don't believe that, it will not happen, and you will be unfaithful, and it will be terrible, because then you will be condemned into hell. Think about it carefully, and pray. Pray that we all might be purified and be faithful forever. For blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.